How are you, Mr. Eric? Very well, thanks, Manny. That's fantastic. Nice to see you again. You too. And congratulations on the film. Oh, thanks very much. It's smart, yet it's also pulse pounding. Mm -hmm. You know, and I love that aspect. Yeah. How, how did you get attracted into your character, Martin? Uh, I love the script. It was a real page turner. And I was very much drawn to, to Martin. I knew it would be a challenge. I think any time you have a character who presents to the world like they're brilliant and confident, um, he's very good at what he does in his profession as a, as a barrister, but at the same time, we know that underneath that is uh, something else. He's got know. a weakness. His weakness, a bit of a midlife crisis, a, 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 um, a bit of a crossroads in his life, and it's, it's a great challenge to play. It's an interesting concept, and I didn't know that. You know, you and Rebecca Hall work together in the movie, yet you cannot talk to each other. Yes. Right? Yes. This, is that only a UK thing or is it in yes, America it, too? No, it's, a, it's something within the British legal system. She's playing a special advocate. So her job is to go and argue in a closed court for evidence to be heard in an open court. Um, so whilst we're working together, we also can't actually communicate with each other. We're not meant to have had a past relationship. We lie about that which elevates the level of drama for the audience and for ourselves. Right, um, and it's unpredictable at the end as well. Yes. Um, you know, another UK thing is this drag you guys put on. Yeah. Once you put that on, it's all fierce. It's like a drag show. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and right? We have it in Australia because our legal system mirrors the Oh, British. really? But it actually really works. I, I sat in on a big murder case in the UK, and there were five or six people with wigs and robes in, in the court session that day. And the following day, I had no way of remembering their faces. So wow. it, do, it definitely works. It, it, do, it does do something to, to the person, to the judge and to the barristers. It, do, it does kind of uh, take the human face away to a, to a degree. It's really interesting. It makes them blend in. Into yeah, the it makes it about, about the law. It makes it about, about that and not about the person. Wow. And how did you prepare for the role? It was a combination of things. Uh, the, the legal side of it I was quite familiar with because of my, um, my background. My, my, because uh, you're smart. Oh, I'm so brilliant. <laughs> I was a brilliant right. lawyer in another period of time. No, I'm, I'm actually married into a legal family. My, my father-in-law is a retired judge and my sister-in-law is a barrister. So I was very familiar with that side of things. Um, but in this case, you know, it's a traditional thriller. So we spent a lot of time, the director and myself and Rebecca, you know, mapping out the beats of the story and uh, just making sure that it was understandable and, and tense, which it, which it is, you know. What about the physicality of it? I mean, the first scene we saw you, you're, you're yeah. rowing the boat. A lot thing. of fun. Yeah, and uh, it's, it takes a long time to learn how to row a single skull. It's not like an old rowboat. It's uh, something that you can't fake, and we couldn't fake it. They said to me, look, you're going to have to learn how to do this, which I loved. I spent months training wow. at home and in, in London and... and uh, it's very satisfying. Yeah, Aww. a lot of fun. Well, congratulations again, Mr. Eric. Thanks, man. And good luck on the film. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>